how to run a script when a button is pressed. In this lesson, you will learn starter GUI, screen GUI, text button, local script, activated event, connecting events, print function, and parent instance. Let's create a button. You go into starter GUI folder and you type text button. As you can see, text button did not appear. For that, you need to create screen GUI. And you have to drag text button inside of it. Now you see the text button has appeared. Let's change the text of a button. I like to change it so that it is something else. So I put start. You can also change the size of a button. You can also change the name of this text button instance. And I will name it start button. Right now, if you click play and you we can start the game. Let's start the game and let's imagine that user clicks on the button. Right now if a user clicks on the button nothing happens. So what we have to do? This is a text button class. If you look, if you open the properties you can see the class name here, text button. Let's read Roblox official documentation. This is the site, this is the official documentation for text button. And you can read here a lot, uh, all those properties and functions that are available. If you scroll down, you will find events section and that is what we are interested here is one event called activated fire fires when the button is activated okay let's go back to roblox studio inside of start button let's create local script what is a local script local script is basically a lua code container uh, we can read about local script as well from the official Roblox documentation. And you can read that the local script is a Lua source code container that runs Lua code on a client connected to a Roblox server. And this local script uh, can be created only in very specific places, like a replicated first or backpack or character player scripts etc so local script is here created in starter GUI folder this script references to this instance of this local script and this parent references to this starter button Activated is the event that I just showed you. And the way you connect events is by connect function. This is a function call. And this function takes one argument. And this takes a handler function. That's called a handler function. You don't have to define this function here. You can also define it somewhere here let's say we create it here and we call it let's say handler handle activated we can we can do it like that as well now let's use this print function hello word so if we start the game now again
and if I click on this you can see that this is printed out therefore it is working